directors were going to come at, I think, 3 o'clock or whatever in the afternoon. And let's say 2.30, there's a knock on my door, and it's Lebo. And I'm going, God, where have you been? And I've literally been looking for him for months. And he goes, oh, man, you know. So he comes in, and I'm just put some headphones on him and go, OK, start singing. And so what you hear at the opening is literally take one, the only take, I think, of this. Because it wasn't going to be the expected fairy tale, the audience sits down, and I was going to go and let them know, you're not in Kansas anymore. This is going to be different. And to have this incredibly impassionate, very foreign-sounding voice. The eureka moment in the movie is in Hans Zimmer's studio for Circle of Life. And we all stand in the booth, and we hear what Hans has done with the first 25 seconds of the movie. And we all go, that's it? Actually, Elton got really excited. We had a rough storyboard version of that put to place to Hans's uh, score of it. By the end of that sequence, he was jumping up and down in his chair, and he was so happy with it. When everybody started hearing that, everybody was like, oh, wow, that's, that's pretty powerful stuff. And, and I think one of the best decisions they made on this movie was to use that entire song as the trailer. There's the whole thing, and everyone just went, I got to go see that. We actually put it in theaters. This was pretty unusual. Put it in theaters at least six months, if not yeah, longer, as a trailer. before the movie, the whole song. And it ended with that big, you know, <laughs> with the Lion King logo. And uh, I think that certainly gave that us an idea, because excited. every time people would see it, they got really excited about the yeah. movie. 